America needs a tidal wave of the old time religion. I have sinned against you. How dare you! We have no need to doubt God. The heart of Babylon is preparing the nations to receive the Antichrist. I didn't even build that house with money from the church. I built it with money from my book. I don't make this stuff up. Repenting of your sins. It is a moral issue. They got together and swore a pact to the devil. I just enjoy seeing people worship, <sighs> praising God. Hey everybody and welcome to Belief It Or Was One Did We Did It Did Not did, get, Not gonna do it on my watch Ding dong the witch is dead Witch old witch the wicked witch Which witch Sandwich uh, yeah. <laughs> Which witch is which <laughs> The sandwich is which Five dollar foot long let's go Let's go mm-hmm. um, Do you like the subway sandwiches uh, Not particularly I mean mm. it's fine every once in a while But it's not like my go-to no no it's fine when there's literally nothing else yeah and i have a coupon yeah yeah this episode is brought to you by subway it's <laughs> fine if there's nothing else right I, I don't know it's just not my favorite yeah same uh you like christmas though that's that thing you like xmas yeah i like uh the holiday season what's your favorite not for the jesus reasons though what no, He's I like the it for the for gifts. Reason. I love it for the money. Mm. I love it for the the food. Mm. I love it for the you get candy. Money? Well, no, <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> you cool. lose money. Yeah, I say I say I tend to lose money. Spend, spend, spend. That's what. But it's it all takes about. money to make money. Listen, I love an excuse to spend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Certified shopaholic. Mm-hmm. Do you buy gifts for your entire family? Uh. Yeah, mostly. Um, this year, tried to get a push for a Secret Santa thing, but then half my family didn't want to do it, and then the other half didn't do anything, so it's just normal. Oh, okay. We were, I was going to buy gifts for everybody, and mm-hmm. then uh, somebody suggested Secret Santa, because it's been years since I've mm-hmm. really been home for Christmas, Yeah, and I was like, oh, I got it. I should probably just do it. So I was going to buy everybody a gift, and then, yeah, we're doing the Secret Santa, but I had already bought one gift, Uh oh. and I was like, well, I'll just give it to him anyway, mm-hmm. and then I got his name. Perfect! <laughs> so Wow. Christmas you know what they done. say, the Lord works in mysterious he ways, really, and he came really through. Does. Yeah. The universe provides, and by the universe, I mean the Lord. Yeah. Lord Jesus he is Christ. The universe. Yeah. Last Amen. I checked. Last I checked. Last I checked. Um, Don't quote me on that. But you know, there's a there's some things about Christmas that um people mm-hmm. people don't know. Oh, Red Cup Day. Granted. Oh, that's Christmas. That's Christmas. Is that Starbucks? <laughs> yeah. I'm boycotting Starbucks. Yeah. I Whoops. I mean, I haven't been in a while. Former employee, thank you yeah, very much. Same. But uh, we won't talk about that. You know, they lost uh, twelve billion dollars because of the boycott. Really? Yeah. So Whoa. it's working. Wow. Boycotts work, people, and people are boycotting boycotting Puma, and it caused them to pull out of their sponsorship of the Israeli football team. Mm. So boycotts work. Um, okay. Speaking of the whole situation going on in the Middle East, did yeah. you see about uh, the protests in uh, Toronto and that police officer no. putting his knee on the back of the guy's neck and head? Yeah. And then there's multiple angles and footage of it, like the guy like basically bouncing on the back of the guy's head, like kneeing him in the back of the head and holding it down. The uh, TPS, I guess, reviewed the footage and said, upon our review, uh, that didn't happen. So they're trying to gaslight everyone into thinking that this thing that was recorded multiple times didn't happen to this guy. Not only that, too, you can see like the guy kneeing on him and then constantly like stomping on the guy's glasses, too. Wow. Intentional or not, I don't know the glasses part, but... It's still a fucking ridiculous. And then you have yeah. like eight cops there for this one guy from a peaceful protest outside of the U.S. Embassy. It's yeah. so stupid. And a lot of times they'll say stuff like it was um, like y- you never know in the heat of the situation how you're going to react. And Sure. But the thing is, that's why they need more training. Well, I mean, And yeah. they need to hire people who don't flip out and... and knee people <laughs> maybe you just don't need a bunch of cops to attack peaceful protesters yeah, exactly. to begin with yeah. and then you wouldn't have these issues yeah when they say too, like um whoever the whenever there's a protest and there's two sides whoever mm-hmm. the cops are facing are usually the people who are in the right right <laughs> you know right I, mean? like, I heard a what was it i think it was theo vaughn and he was saying like if there's ever like a community that says free them they're usually the ones who need the help. <laughs> yeah. you know 
It was like yeah. a free Palestine, like free Tibet, you yeah. know, things like that. Same kind of idea, right? Yeah. It, yeah. The cops even, are on your side, then you maybe need to think about it. It's like, are we the baddies? Yeah. Because <laughs> when I went to, there was that protest in the fall of the, uh, like, the people wanting them to not teach anything LGBTQ yeah. in schools. Right. So I was, like, at the counter protest for that, and it was, like, all the um, anti-gay people, all the anti-trans people in the middle, mm -hmm. and then the cops are protecting them and standing against us. And it's like, why are you assuming that we're going to be the problem? My thing that I find really funny about that, too, it's like this assumption that, that you're going to be violent as well. Where yeah. It's more than likely that the right-wing conservative Christian c group are going to be the, yeah. the, the violent ones. <laughs> yeah. Especially in the States, too, where most of those ones are armed. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, so here we are. But uh, hmm. speaking of Christmas... Uh, <laughs> Uh, do you know that uh, Jesus wasn't born on December 25th, probably? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Yeah. Is that true? That's probably true. When's his real birthday? Well. Is it March 34th? Here's the thing. Well, that's oh. closer to um, when they... Uh, hmm. Okay, so March 25th is one of the reasons given for why it's celebrated on December 25th. Because some saint back in the day... Back in the third century, was it Saint Anger, the uh, one that Metallica wrote? Yeah, about? it was. It was Saint <laughs> Anger, but he <laughs> hypothesized that Jesus mm -hmm. would have been born, uh, conceived on March twenty fifth during the spring equinox, equinox, which would make him um, be. Wait, wait, wait! How did he determine this? Just by guessing? By guessing and by like the story, or was it kind of like, of... Um, let me see? Well, Mary's birthday was in like early summer, so that would put. Uh, Jesus's birthday uh, yeah. <laughs> in March because that's when God would have banged her on her birthday yeah. probably, Mary right? Mary would have been ovulating on the... <laughs> is, is, that, is that what it was? <laughs> Basically. I think it was to make December 25th work because okay. December 25th was the um, last night of Saturnalia, mm. um, a lot of other pagan traditions, things like yep. that. So they wanted to make that Christian and less not Christian. Yeah. yeah, they wanted to steal the pagan stuff and make it Christian. Yeah, yeah, which is like what the Roman Empire did a lot of. Exactly. Yeah, in the Bible, there are shepherds grazing at night or watching the sheep. The at shepherds night. were grazing. The shepherds were grazing <laughs> while their sheep were just sitting around having Playing sandwiches, strip poker. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, that wouldn't have happened in December. So they wouldn't yeah. have been out on the fields in December. They would have been hunkered down. So in their bunker, in their bunker, defending themselves from the police. Yeah, there's also um, no reason to believe that anything in the Christmas story in the Bible is accurate. <laughs> so no Santa Claus, no Rudolph, no reindeer. Yeah, the, all no those North Bible Pole. stories probably not. Wow. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I know. Which um which book in the Bible was all the Santa Claus mythos in? Uh, that was in um, John. Mm. Yeah, third. <laughs> John the third. Right. Yeah. Right, no, right, there right. is a third John. Uh, <laughs> well, I thought it would have been like, because it was St. Nicholas, right? Mm. Jolly old St. Nicholas. It was in Revelations. Oh, it was in Revelation. <laughs> Santa Claus came down on a dragon. <laughs> Makes sense yeah. to me. <laughs> um, the, in the Bible, it never says there's three kings. That's another misconception mm. about Christmas. Okay. Uh, but then how would they carry three different things if uh, there wasn't exactly. three of them, right? And that's why people came up with the three wise men thing. I mean, they weren't kings at all. They were magi. Um, oh, so they were wizards. They were wizards. They're magic men from the east. Were they? So were they magic men? Yeah, they were. So they then why been. are the Christians afraid of magic then? I know. They would have been astrologers from another religion, but they count. Okay, so modern day Christians hate magic, hate other religions. But back in the day, the magic people from other religions were there to bless the little baby jesus yeah hmm, interesting yeah makes you think really makes you think isn't maggie uh maggie the that seasoning sauce that you uh yeah that's so good <laughs> were you there when i was talking about that stuff no but oh, I, okay. but i was uh online when you talked about breaking another bottle of soy sauce yeah <laughs> i have dropped three full bottles of soy sauce two of them smashed oh, no one God. of them smashed one of them and two of them spilled on, like went on their side and spilled it. Yeah, overnight. Oh my god! Overnight. Overnight. So I I got up in the morning 
How did you not notice? Uh, cause I got up in the morning and there was soy sauce all over the ground, all over the floor. Was it just like on the counter? Open? Yeah, it was on the counter. So open? I'm a slob. Yeah, okay, it was on fair. the counter open. Uh, the one time I just, it was in the fridge and it like mm-hmm. fell off the shelf. Yeah. And smashed. That'll, yeah. Okay. Where the fridge, where it's supposed to be. Mm. Oh no, one time, sorry, one of the times it was in the fridge and it fell over and then it spilled out kind of. Oh, it so leaked out the leaked door. Leaked out the door. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the other time I left it on the counter and it spilled overnight. Uh, wow. Yeah. But Maggie's re- uh, really good on in soup. <laughs> it's an all-purpose seasoning. Yeah. Um, yeah, people say three because it was the three gifts. Um, it, yeah, they also didn't show up when Jesus was a baby. Um, mm. They saw the star when he was a baby. Uh, and then it took him a while to get there. It took him a while to get there. Yeah, because in the story, it makes it seem like they're like, hey, there's a star. And then 15 minutes later, they're yeah. there. Yeah. Another problem with the star, though, is that, I mean... Star of wonders, star, star of things. Uh, they wouldn't have. How does a star point at a house? Oh, if you think about it, that doesn't make any sense. It wasn't like a big arrow saying like <laughs> yeah, just this way to the baby stars. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like a big neon sign. Yeah, yeah, that's how I pictured it. That, that's probably how it is too. Mm. But the thing is, like, they haven't been able to find any evidence of that kind of event happening. But also, you're saying, how does a star do this? Yeah. If anyone's going to be able to do it, it's the magic astrologers. That's true. That's true. Yep, you're right. So. Yeah. Another misconception is that Jesus uh, was born in a stable. Mm. A stable um, relationship. S- sta- Not because oh. his mom and dad probably fought because he's like, I yeah. ain't having a baby. Yeah. I thought you were a virgin. <laughs> we haven't consummated this marriage nope. yet. <laughs> Uh, but the uh, that's actually because of a poor translation. Mm. Um, the stable, the stable, yeah, because it wasn't. Um, it wasn't that there was no room in the inn. It was that there was no room in like the house in the family home. So they had to like in the main family home. So they had to put him in like the oh, like in the lodging. garage. Yeah, oh. in like sorry, in like the lower level of the house, which is where the animals would go sometimes in the winter. Uh, mm. So they would have a manger in there, but not necessarily at the same time. Right. Yeah. So um, so he was born probably like in the lower level of a house. In the living room where you keep the animals. Yeah, exactly. In the winter. Yeah. Another one is, uh, I talked about this on my last video, but the slaughter of the innocents where Herod was so mad that Jesus was born that he killed everybody under the age of two. There's no historical cool guy for that happening. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think there was. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing too. Like somebody commented on the video, my last video, I mentioned this and I mentioned this and the fact that the timeline doesn't work for, um, Quirinius. One book says he was born under Quirinius. One book says he was born under Herod the Great, but there was a decade, um, in between, right. um, when those could have happened. So he couldn't have happened at the same time. Um, and then the other thing was that the census couldn't have happened or didn't happen, there's like no record of the census and they wouldn't have done it that way. They wouldn't have had you go to your back to your hometown or whatever. Okay. Um, somebody pointed out that there was a lot of records lost in the in a fire. Mm-hmm. Um, As which, it happened, yeah. Yeah, which could account for the census numbers being gone, but there should have been other writings about at, at least that there was a census that right. big with that many moving parts you think in the census too you would mention that all your babies were dead yeah but the slaughter of the innocents um josephus who christians quote a lot um also hated herod the great and would have written about this Mm. if it had happened and he never mentions this interesting so um another thing is the virgin birth First of all, that's probably a mistranslation of an Old Testament prophecy where it was actually a young lady, not a virgin. Mm. And then at the time, they mistranslated it and thought it was a virgin, so they created a story around that. The other thing, too, is that um, only two of the Gospels have an account of the virgin birth. Nowhere else in the New Testament, or Paul at least, doesn't mention the virgin birth at all, which would his letters would have been written first and then uh, and then mark would have been written and um it didn't have like the gospel of mark doesn't have anything about the virgin birth or the birth right. at all john doesn't have anything about the virgin birth 
um, or The Birth at All, and then, yeah, two of the books do, but they're not really the same story. So it just seems like they were kind of making it fit right. a narrative that it doesn't fit. So is the real story that God possessed Joseph Sweener and yeah. got God goo out of it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that what yeah. happened? Well, it would have been like... I'm not I'm not very clear on the science of this. There was a this, person, so. and then there was mm. a person, and then God really liked him, so they put he put his blessing upon this person, and it, he made him part of the Godhead. Or there was a person, and then Jesus took over. There was a lot of early theories about how Possessed it worked. Him. Yeah, mm. and then and then eventually it, it came to the virgin birth. He was always God kind of narrative, and that Christian stuck with, but. I mean, the weird part about all of it, when you think about it in this way, is it's like, why couldn't God just make Jesus just be there? Yeah. Exactly. Why did he have to fuck with someone's marriage? Yeah. And that could have been... Or a person to begin with. That could have been an early theory, too, about how he came about. Right. But then you get stories about, like in the the one story in the Bible where nobody will listen to him in his hometown um, because they grew up with them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Which I always think about when, like, um, my family or whatever, um, if, if somebody says something mean, it's like, Jesus wasn't accepted in his hometown. <laughs> I always just think of it when you're telling some fire fucking jokes and your family all ignores you because mm-hmm. they're like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, these are good. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. You exactly. idiots can't appreciate fucking nothing. <laughs> That's right. Jesus wasn't accepted. That's how Jesus felt. <laughs> yeah. Some more modern misconceptions about um, Christmas. The mm-hmm. X isn't sacrilegious in Xmas. I, I never thought it was. Yeah. Pe- was I thought it was what had something to do with, uh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, it was uh, just a, uh, the Greek, uh, the first letter of Christ in Greek is similar to an X. Is and that what it was? X became the symbol of Christ. I thought it had something to do with like the crosses, like the X, like crucifixes oh no as well um that could be part of it do you know what i'm talking about yeah because i remember something like that like that representing christ and then it was just a a short form of that as well yeah that could be part of it too but yeah a lot of it is because like you even see like extens instead of christians sometimes Mm. for short and it's just um but when i was a kid it was like x is the unknown uh, the unknown. Well, yeah, is and, that why Elon or, Musk loves it? Yeah, probably. Wow. You, Do you think Xmas now means uh, Twitter mess? Twitter mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Elon Musk hasn't uh, tried copywriting that yet. Have you ever seen the oh, movie? Fuck, if he's um, listening, he might. The the Fast and the Furious movie, the newest one, uh, no. Fast Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just tweet family for two and a half yeah. hours, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it is Fast Christ. Fast Christ. Yeah. You had a fast Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cover I want to hear. <laughs> yeah. uh, another myth is that pe- a lot of people say that the reason Santa Claus wears red is because of Coca-Cola, but that's a myth. <gasps> yeah. So... He doesn't drink Coca-Cola. No, he does drink Coca-Cola, obviously. Oh, thank God. Yeah. But um, there was a lot of... I uh, thought he was a royal crown guy. <laughs> yeah. But I think there were a lot of like different types of Santa Clauses throughout the years. Yeah. There was like the tall, pointy hat, more yeah, St. Yeah, yeah. Nicholas More guy. like white clothes and then Sinterklaas. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a picture from the 1850s. I'll put it on the screen for the YouTube version, but it was like... I see him in blue. Yeah. Santa Claus was like, he had no beard. Mm-hmm. He was on a sleigh... I think it was pulled by um, turkeys. Okay. In this in this version, <laughs> and there was like a little fairy that was like uh, with the whip or whatever, or like the reins. Yeah. Uh, guiding the turkeys. That's pretty funny. So there's been some changes, but I think Coca Cola did help like solidify, solidify this version of Santa Claus. That makes but sense. But he did exist before. Right. Coca Cola. Did it. you watch the movie uh, uh, Klaus? Yeah. It was pretty good. Yeah, I like that movie. Yeah. It was a. I like their Christmas Chronicles. That's becoming a, a Christmas, Christmas tradition. Which one's that one? It's one with um, Kurt Russell. Santa oh Claus. right, yeah. they made two of them. They filmed that in Toronto. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I think we know some people who were in it. Probably. Yeah. I remember when they were filming that. I think I passed by a few of the places they were filming. Yeah. I never saw it. Yeah, I think a lot of the one of the big chase scenes is like that Bay and Blore area. Yeah. Uh, well, they filmed a lot of it down on like Lakeshore there too yeah. and everything. Yeah. Like, in the South Leslieville area. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
What other? There was another TV show. Oh, there's a lot of TV shows filmed here, but oh yeah, um, the boys. I've known mm-hmm. a few people in the boys. Yep. And um, uh, um, not uh, Gen V. What was the one? Uh, Shazam. I remember, uh, you know, the carnival scene at the end of that movie. Yeah. Uh, they filmed that down by like Cherry Beach, and I remember because I went to Cherry Street Barbecue, and there was like a carnival set up there in the winter time. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Uh, oh. <laughs> anyway, I think it was for Shazam. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it was yeah, for because it was sense. around the same time. Yeah. I think yeah. it was a winter carnival in the movie too. So. Yeah. 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 Um, another sad myth that isn't true. Mm. Is that Christmas is a peak time for suicides? Mm. Not true. It's actually Boxing Day. Yeah, exactly. So people get that wrong all the time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but people are less likely actually because um, it's. I mean, for some people, it's um, you do have that more feeling of belonging around Christmas time, mm-hmm. and for other people, you just happen to be around people. And it feels it's like a, it feels like a, a a season of extremes. Yeah, and the other thing too is that if you are um, depressed. Um, you're less likely to to go through with it on Christmas Day because you don't want that you don't want your family members to have that memory right on associated with that day. Oh, I don't care about that. I just don't want to be haunted by three ghosts. That's true. You know That's what I mean? That's true. Um, on that note, <laughs> I know in Canada they just added nine eight eight. Mm. And I think that exists in the States too. Mm-hmm. But instead of nine one one, it's the suicide hotline. So ah, if anybody is struggling. Okay. Please uh, call that number. Well, it's nice they're doing some services like that yeah. while gutting all the other ones. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe we should throw another billion to the police first yeah. <laughs> and then we go next. Sorry. Well, I think a lot of the <laughs> mental health stuff is being cut at the provincial level and this was a... Um, a, a federal a, one? A federal one, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. But you know what, Ed? It's just another reason to hate Trudeau, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Uh, Boxing Day. We mm. celebrate Boxing Day here. It's not as big in America. Mm-hmm. But, um, it's not? A lot of people think it's when you box up your extra gifts and give them to the poor, but that's not where the name comes from. Is that what that is? Yeah. What it's, they would I've ha- never heard They this. would do special alms for like boxes where uh. they would have boxes for the poor where you put your money in at, at the Christmas Mass, mm. at the Christmas church services. See, I never went to a Christmas Mass, so oh, never. Missing heard out. about them, heard about Midnight Mass, never been. Yeah, we always did the Christmas Christmas Eve service. Um, sounds exhausting. Yeah, my the family, uh, the church my family grew up in that I went to until I was six or seven, um, they always did a Christmas morning service. Mm-hmm. So sometimes we'd go to that one uh, even after we stopped going to that church. Yeah. Not that very often, but we'd always go to the Christmas Eve service. Mm-hmm. We'd go to the Christmas Eve service, and then we would open presents when we got home from it. Oh. Uh, so we'd open presents the night before Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because presents, Christmas was not about presents. It was about Jesus Christ. So on the day, you wouldn't open presents. Yeah, I just remember Christmas Eve is usually... Uh, my parents would try and get us to go to bed so they could wrap all the presents because they didn't do that yet. Oh, really? So they would do it Christmas Eve most time. Yeah. And then once we got older, they would. <laughs> there was a few years where my mom just had everything in the living in the kitchen, and then we would wrap each other's presents. <laughs> so oh, really? Like, you're like, don't look. Here you go. Wrap this. One. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd open it all the next on Christmas because uh, Christmas for us wasn't about Jesus. It was about the presents. Yeah. Uh, it was all about commercialism. Uh, you got to love it. You got to love the presents. Yeah. You got to love the gifts. Yeah. You got to get the cookies. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a candy cane yesterday. Oh. A J stick. Mm. Right? Yeah. That's what they stand for. They stand for Jesus. Upside down Jesus. The red stands for his sacrifice. Is that what that the, is? Well, that's what like. I thought it was for peppermint. I think it was. Just, I think it's just a peppermint cane. Mm. Well, I had a raspberry one. So mm. is that sacrilegious? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you're going to hell. <laughs> Can't wait. Straight to hell. Can't wait. Do, do not pass go. Yeah, well, I mean, wasn't gonna. Um, but wait, if I don't pass go, then I can't go to hell. Right. Oh, you're set. I'm saved. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 It's a Christmas miracle. Let's put that up there. Christmas miracle. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I thought I had more misconceptions about Christmas, but I don't. Oh, that's... <laughs> It's a short episode. Uh, everything else you thought about Christmas, true. Ch- false. Oh yeah, another oh, thing. False. Yeah, the Christmas is a Christian holiday was the first one that I skipped over. Um, most Christmas traditions, mm-hmm. pagan, are pagan or taken from other religions. Yeah. Or Yule log. Yule log. Yeah. Um, uh, holiday ham. Holiday ham. That's <laughs> taken from uh, 
uh, the Looney Tunes special. Was it? Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. Uh, what about Kissing Under the Mistletoe? Do you yeah, know that was that? Kissing Under the Mistletoe. That was a um, Yuletide. I think a Yuletide oh, okay. or Yuletide pattern Saturnalia thing. Mm. It was like because of the berries, it was associated with like good spirits or something like that. But isn't mistletoe poisonous? Yep. And then holly too, I think yeah. is also. And poinsettias yeah. are bad for cats. Can I do a quick PSA? Yeah. Okay, folks, if you're a filmmaker. Mm-hmm. If anybody in the audience is a filmmaker or a screenwriter and you're writing a movie that takes place at Christmas time, mm. I will find you if you name your character Holly or Carol. <laughs> no more. It's pretty good. Done. It's pretty Can't good. do it. I like it. I will if I am watching a Christmas movie and there is a character named what about Carol. Mary? Boom. I don't like it. You don't like it. It's, okay. It doesn't make me as angry as Carol or Holly, but it's going to make me angry. I might want to write this movie now. Yeah. <laughs> Although they probably did it in Clusterfunk Christmas, mm. which is a great movie, um, but that's a, more of a parody of the right. um, Hallmark movies. All right. Um, should we thank some patrons? Let's thank those patrons. <laughs> Oh my God! Wow! Thank you so much! Oh, oh thank, thank you! you. Please, please, oh, oh thank you! Thank you. you so much! Hey everybody, and welcome to our Bible study. Thank you for being here in this special time of the year, uh, the time of uh, giving mm. and season's greetings. And remember, so if you could give us greeting cards mm. filled with money, we would we would really appreciate. The that. church really needs a new uh, roof. And swimming pool. And swimming pool. And hot tub. And hot tub. And racquetball court. And remember that since it is the season of giving, mm-hmm. not it is the, the season, the reason for of, the season. Amen. And not mm-hmm. the the season of receiving. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. If you mm-hmm. do receive something, yeah. that is a sin. Mm-hmm. And the only way to redeem that is to give it to the church. Drop it off in the holiday drop off box for sinful yeah. things. Um, because for you, it's the reason for the season, mm-hmm. and for us, it's the reason for the sleezing. Am I right? Amen. Hey, let's do it. Amen. Um, you didn't hear us say that. No, no. Amen. Amen. We didn't say that. Amen. Amen. But I think uh, on a on a more serious note, we do have some very special prayer requests today for our good friends that we need to raise up in this horrible season. Hallelujah. Horrible season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, indeed. We saw them dropping off all kinds of naughty devices in the boxes today, and we have to we have to raise up our friends Rachel mm-hmm. and Christine. Amen. So we lift, please, we lift, lift them, them. Lift them to the rafters. All the way up. To get down that dodgeball that got stuck up there. Amen. At the last... Uh, tournament we had it's like stuck in the it's right between like it's, yeah. and it's been driving me nuts so please raise them yeah. up and uh i just a quick a quick prayer request for our mm. good friend murray mm. murray, murray has been uh, checking the list mm-hmm. twice oh. murray has been checking the list and making sure that all their friends are whether they're naughty or nice mm. and letting them know and and which is really great, and, and thank you for doing that. But it's also Santa's job. I was gonna say, yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but I was gonna say, not your job, Murray. Yeah, and as we know from mm-hmm. Revelations, when Santa would when come he was down born. on his dragon, when he was born, when he was born, and uh, he would make the list, um, and he would check, uh, Murray. That is not your job. Your mm-hmm. job is simply to be nice. Yep, and simply to mm-hmm. um, fall in line. Yeah. Buy stuff and donate to us. Amen. That's your job. Amen. Santa's job is to read, write, and check. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we are all going to say together, Merry mm-hmm. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have a number. And to all a good night. And to all a good night. Christian Rock lyric? Yeah. Can't you see you're not making Christianity better? You're just making rock and roll worse. If it's not Jingle Bell Rock, I'm going to be fucking pissed. It's fucking Jingle Bell Rock. You know it. <laughs> okay. Good. No, it's actually a song called How Many Kings by okay. Down Here. It's Christmas time in, in Hollis, Queens. Queens. Mom's cooking chicken and collard, collard greens. greens. Oh, we're not doing that one? We are now. No, we're not. Uh, this oh. song goes, 
Follow the star to a place unexpected. <laughs> Would you believe after all we've projected a child in a manger, lowly what? and small? What do you mean all we've projected? So I think this is from the perspective of the wise men, the what, magi. What did they so project? They're, they're a great king. Were they doing like a TED talk at the time and they had like a slideshow going on? Yeah. They were like, okay, so it looks by this star, we're going to have a great king, a great ruler. Mm. But the thing is, all kings were once babies. So Whoa. Um, if you think about it. Well, all of them? Even King Arthur? No, not King Arthur. Okay. I didn't he was think so. born a full. He was a Ted Brogan type. That's what yeah. I thought. Benjamin buttoned it. Yeah. Yeah. But he died before he became a baby. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he's like, I'm not going to be a baby. Exactly. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> a child in a manger, lowly and small, the weakest of all, unlikeliest hero wrapped in his mother's shawl. <laughs> I know that they're saying like a baby is the weakest of all, but this is almost implying like he was the weakest, weakest baby, baby ever. <laughs> like they put him in a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ was born the weakest baby of all time. <laughs> Look how even easily by, his bones will break. Even by baby standards, this baby <laughs> is weak. That's a tournament I would watch. Yeah, same. Because how many kings step down from their thrones? How many lords have abandoned their homes? How many greats have become the least for me? And how many gods have poured out their hearts? To romance a world that is torn up, torn all apart, how many fathers give up their sons for me? Well, that's not a love. It's sacrificing. Anyways, bringing our gifts to the newborn Savior, all that we have, whether costly or meek, because we believe. But have, have they done any of that? No. Because it seems like so far the answer for all of those is zero. Yeah, zero. Yeah. Maybe one. Yeah. But that was for stupid reasons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So what's the point? Yeah, the point is God. God's the best Jesus there is. God is the best, best Jesus. God. Jesus okay. is the best King Man. I, I I'm still very confused what they're what they're trying to say with that. How many kings? How many this? Yeah, like but they haven't. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Kings kings haven't done this except for Jesus has. But Jesus didn't either. Well, uh, yeah. No, he didn't. Oh, he was never officially a king either. So he wasn't a king. Yeah. Right. He didn't really do anything. No. And is it really a sacrifice if you're just going home? No. You're just here for 30 minutes, basically. Yeah. To kind of hang out and talk to people, and then you go back home. Yeah, exactly. It's so like, it's not giving anything up. It's like in uh, Invincible when he's like, mm -hmm. yeah, I live for thousands of years. Like, yeah. you, your mother was nice, but she was more like a pet than anything. Like, yeah. We're more like pets. Yeah, he came and hang out. It's like if you had an ant farm, Yeah. and then you shrunk yourself down, hung out with the ants for a little bit. Yeah. And then you're like, all right, I'm done with this. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. <laughs> he didn't what... sacrifice shit. Yeah, if anything, exactly. he sacrificed it by being there for yeah. 20 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he didn't fix anything. No. The world's still messed up. He made it worse, if yeah. anything. Yeah. A lot of deaths in his name. A lot of deaths. I'm going to I'm gonna say um, not the father. Yeah. Is that what we were doing? Joseph, you are not the father. No. Nope. Have you seen those ones where they get the not the father and they do a backflip? <laughs> no. <laughs> what about what about the one <laughs> where the guy is the father and then he like falls backwards in his chair, but someone edited it so he falls into the ground and it makes the Super Mario sixty four <laughs> sound where he goes into the picture frame where it goes like do 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 and it's just like Leroy get the hell out of there. <laughs> so stupid. Amazing. I'll find that for have you. Have you seen that onion video where it's like uh, video games have corrupted my son. No. Um, he plays so many video games, and now all he does is just walk around looking for coins. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. But, folks, we wish you a merry holiday season. 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 And a happy new times. Yeah. And uh, we hope that you get all the things you could ever want and more. Um, whether that be material possessions, whether that be uh, hugs and kisses from the people you care about, or whether that just be some goddamn alone time. Or a little Christmas sex. Oh, yeah. We're hoping that y'all get your stocking stuffed, if you know what I'm saying. I hope Santa comes down your chimney. That's right. 
Hope he comes down for you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Uh huh. Come. Yeah. <laughs> work, 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 Sky Moon. <laughs> this podcast has been brought to you by the Sonar Network. Sonar!